So we're going to be tapping into this water line here. It's a three inch pipe and we need to splice off just a one inch line that's going to go over to this building here next door. And uh, it's going to be a bit of a mess because we're going to have to try to drain as much water out of that line as we can downhill. And then we're going to have to cut it in two places. We'll cut it here and then cut it here and put 90 degree uh, elbows going up. One there and one there. So one on each place where we cut. Have them going up. And then on top of those we'll be placing another 90 degree elbow connecting to it and going over and another one connected and going over and then in between those two elbows putting a T and off that T we'll run our one inch line and out so got to make some good clean cuts on this pipe uh, in both places got to get a good seal with those first two elbows and then got to get it all lined up so that we can put the uh, top two and just drop them in place nice and uh, snug and uh, so that'll be going on tomorrow. So I'm going to start draining the line tomorrow night. Let it drain overnight. And in the morning, start cutting pipe. Uh, I'm basically going to have these elbows here going into the main line here and then here. And then where they come up, I've got an extra piece of uh, pipe here that'll go in between. Like so. Same thing here, here, and here. And then uh, these are some reducers to get to my one inch uh, line at the top. And that's that's the plan. Gotta do some more digging. Well, I guess we can make the first cut. <laughs> All right, here comes the mud. Not bad, not too much water. That'll dry up pretty quick. It's gonna be a lot easier to patch this up than I thought. Do another test run here. These spacers aren't the right length, those are just swags, so they're close. But I'll need to make sure we got an exact exact match there.
Yeah. I had a bigger. So now we've got the main line uh, glued in and we've also attached the one inch line that'll go to the new structure off that T on the top there. And uh, it's all been glued in and we waited about an hour for it to cure. And now we're gonna head up the hill and go ahead and turn back on the water pressure and see if this holds. So I got this hose uphill. So the air's coming out from the lines. As it's building up pressure, you get surges of air coming out. A lot of air in the lines. Making some rainbows. Hey, buddy. Hey, good boy. Looks like we got most of the air out at this point. All right, so we got the power, the water on. Pipes have been filling up. And I opened up a drain on the other end of the line to let the air pressure out. And uh, so far, everything's holding. I think we're gonna be good. We only let it dry maybe an hour. And uh, give it another little bit of time and then we'll go ahead and bury this in. So all the pipes are buried in now. Got a cap here for the shut off valve for that one inch line that we did that goes across to this nearby structure. And uh, here's the cap for that other main house line. And that elbow is underneath here where we added that piece. Got all buried in. Don't seem to have any leaks. Push the air out of the system. And everything seems good. So, you know, tapping into a main uh, water line like that isn't too bad if you use that little trick with the elbows to give yourself um, some room to work and a, and a way to bridge across and uh, put your splice in the middle there. So I hope this video helped you out and um, if you liked it please uh, thumbs up the video and subscribe and that'll help other people find it as well. Hey I hope you have a great day.